In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between job order costing and process costing. And the main key difference between these two cost flow uh, methods is job order costing, we're talking about uh, heterogeneous products. And what I mean by heterogeneous is we have a firm, for example, uh, that is selling, let's, let's say, custom made furniture. Custom made furniture. So when we have a customer that submits an order, let me just change colors here. When we when we have an order come in for furniture, uh, that order is going to be different uh, than yesterday's order, right? So it's not going to be that we're just having the same kind of product uh, that we're shipping out all the time, right? So this order might be for uh, a custom custom couch, and then we might have another order uh, for custom love seats right or a table and so we're gonna have with these orders we're gonna be putting our costs that flow through our raw materials and all these things they're gonna they're gonna be flowing through our plant in terms of of job costs uh, sheets excuse me so we'll say like okay we've got a job cost sheet for an order we'll say like this is order 512 B and then what we're gonna have for raw materials, direct labor, and our manufacturing overhead. And we're assigning it to a job, right? So we'll, I just said, I said order here, but maybe a better way to think of it is job 512B. I'll just put, so we've got job 512B. So we've got a job, a specific order, uh, that is gonna have its own raw materials, direct labor, manufacturing overhead. That's not necessarily the same as another order. So what we're talking about is, is heterogeneous, is talking about like different types of products that we have to go through these jobs. If say job 512 was this, job 513 was this, we can't just treat them all the same. Uh, but with process costing, uh, we're dealing uh, with some kind of product like, like maybe oil, right? Where we just say, okay, look, oil is oil, and we really, any, any order, uh, it might be more oil that somebody's talking about that they want than some other firm, but ultimately it's just oil, right? It's not it's kind of like these custom items that we got to account for differently. Uh, it, it's just it's just oil, and so it's uh, what we would call a homogeneous product. And it doesn't have to be something like oil. It could be, uh, for example, a, a toy car. So let's let's say that your firm only makes one type of toy car. Okay, so we're not talking a multitude of toy cars or custom to just one standard uh, toy car, right? So you might have in this front, we say, okay, well, how are we going to do the cost flow now? Well, we're not going to do it by jobs, right? So the costs here are by jobs. And if with process costing, it's by department. I'll just abbreviate that here. So the costs are organized or flow through departments. And what I mean by that is this. So these toy cars, let's just say we look and we say, oh, we've got three departments. We've got assembly of the toy car, right? We put the put the toy car together, and then we've got painting of the toy car. So we've after we've assembled it, we, we paint it, and then we have finally packaging, right? We have to sell it. We put it in some plastic wrap. Or So we have these three departments. These are our departments and costs flow through these departments, right? We don't do jobs in the center. We're not gonna have a job 512B and, and, and so forth. We're, we're actually having the cost flow through these departments. And, and what does that mean? Well, just briefly, and, and, and see our video on, on process costing if you'd like to learn more, but the idea is when we requis requisition materials or apply labor, uh, it gets put into this assembly account, right? We requisition some materials that we need to assemble uh, they go into this assembly account, and it's going to be a WIP account just for assembly. And then we're going to have a WIP account, and by WIP I mean work, uh, work in process, a work in process account just for painting. And then we're going to have a work in process account just for packaging, right? So when we start assembling, we say, okay, well, we, we, we've assembled some materials here. We're going to debit WIP assembly. And then credit, um, you know, the, the raw materials or whatever it is we used, and 
uh, wages payable, whatever it is that went into this assembly. We we debit the WIP assembly, but then as the co as the costs flow through, as we say, okay, now it's assembled. Now we've actually went and painted it. Okay, well now we're going to debit the WIP account for painting, and then we would credit the WIP account for assembly to reduce it, because remember it's an asset account. So basically, we're reducing the assembly WIP, the work in process, as we increase the work in process for painting. And then, uh, and so on, right? When we come and say, okay, well now we're packaging the items, we would increase the work in process account for packaging and decrease the one uh, for painting. And now with job order costing over here, right? We just have one WIP account, just one work in process account, and all the jobs, um, all the information, everything, it flows through that this one WIP account instead of process costing, where we've got a a WIP account for every single department.